Today, uh, we are replacing upper ball joints on the IS300 because we are trying to get rid of that clunk. Maybe I'll be able to enjoy my car now once this is done. I have a horrible doubt in my heart that it, this isn't going to be the root of the problem. DJ's brother Chris is here. <laughs> upper ball joint. Because yeah. before when you like grabbed on it and shook it or something like that. So uh, we crawled under, not that we had to, we have a lift, we could have just stood under, but we crawled under and Chris looked at some shit because we looked at the upper ball joints and thought, no, nah, they don't look too bad. And uh, um, they look kind of all right. Not that you can really judge shit like that, but uh, anyway, he looked at, because one of the mechanics that I brought this to said that the, said the power steering, fuck, <laughs> that the steering rack bushings were toasted and my steering rack was moving around. And then I thought, nah, fuck that, he's dumb. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> but I bought the bushings anyway. But now that we're under here, uh, apparently this is toast. I wouldn't be able to tell you that, but someone who works on things for a living could tell you that. Good thing we have one of those. Good thing the mechanic told you that. Yeah. So now I've got two mechanics who've told me that. <laughs> so I've got those bushings here in the back. DJ. <laughs> what the fuck? If you live around here, you know Green Valley Road. Part of it was under construction, right by Green Valley Meats. Like all gravel for like probably two weeks. It was probably 10.30 at night. I was just ripping through there, tracking the control off second gear, just fucking fishtailing through the gravel and shit like that. Having a lot of fun, just like drifting shit. It was, it was Green Valley Road, Mexico. And then the very end of the gravel, all of the gravel has been pushed up against where the road starts by a million different cars. So the gravel is really deep. And luckily I'm going way too fast. So I hit it and I literally hydroplane. Like I can, well, I guess not literally because they're rocks and not water. I can feel my entire car just sitting on gravel, sliding across gravel. Like my tires are doing nothing. Luckily I have enough speed to like make it through there onto the pavement. And then for like five miles, my car is just dropping gravel. Just ting, 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 ting. And then, yeah, and then this is about two weeks later and it's still, every time I like really get on it and like take corners hard and like fuck around and do fun shit, I still hear like maybe a piece of gravel falling out. Do you have to take the steering rack out for that? Nah, nah, he's just nah. You don't know how to do that shit. <laughs> Dude, check out your boots. They're all intactoid. They are covered in oil from that leaking ass oil filter I had when I got the car. But they are intactoid. Maybe this is like af an aftermarket replacement. Like, that's why it says Toyota on it. <laughs> Get a light on it. Yeah. I don't know if that means my steering rack is like a Chinese knockoff or that's just like how the Japanese spell it or what. I don't know what's up. But that is disheartening. Yeah. Um, Beep, boop. I can't. This car is in the way. Should I? Should we take this brace off? Ah, oh, that's fucked. I'm, okay. I'm, it's already sucking cock. I just need a short yeah, one. Yeah. I need a shortman. So, Chris is cutting this edge of the bushing off. He's giving it a little rim job, cutting all the rim off. Hell yeah. So hopefully you can just push that out. Bitch of it is that there's another one up there. Yeah. So. That'll be fun. Uh, yeah. That's why I bring Chris. <laughs> You poor son of a bitch. Earlier today, I pulled a bunch of shit out of my garage and uh, posted a video on Instagram about trying to get rid of some of it. And a guy that lives pretty close to here is gonna come take a look at some of the stuff. He has a red S13 vert that's pretty dope. So we'll take a little video of that when he gets here. Mmm, pretty Jammer. spunk. Yeah, it reminds me of spunk. Are those mm. supposed to be in it, those slits or no? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. The that looks like it's don't. From it moving around. Yeah. That bushing callus is a classic sign of wear. You know, something you want to really avoid. <laughs> oh, this one's fucking thick, dude. She's stiff. Yeah. This might be hard to get in. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's shitting out. There we go. Cut! <laughs> Shut up, Quentin. We're never gonna hit 100K if you keep doing this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna watch this one poop out. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, God. That's a good the poop, but. So we'll compare, yeah. yeah, look at those those bushing calluses. Compared to that. Yeah, here, all point, point it at the camera. Yeah, so this is the new fancy one that looks all good. That's the old shitty one that looks not good. And also feel the difference in texture on that, Chris. Like that one's. Thing is yeah, it's tough. Hard. Yeah, this and that was nice and soft. Yeah, like make condoms out of that or something. Mm -hmm. Throw that one on the ground or throw that one on the ground? <laughs> Drop it from the same height. Here. Okay, Three. so Chris has the new one, Quentin has the old one. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. That one bounced out of frame. It's a bouncy ball. 
I want to see what's really cool about these ones. What? This is how you install bushings. You take the metal out. Oh, and, and then you can collapse it. That's just cool. a little bit. Oh, I did, a, I did oh, it. Oh, nice. Bushing I flip. The bushing. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this may be the stupidest thing we've ever filmed. Oh! <laughs> Squeezer. Squanch it in there. Just put a little bit of lube on it. I'm trying to get it up into that hole up there and compress it far enough that it'll slide through. And then I can install the metal spacer in it, tighten everything back down. DJ, <laughs> 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 step away from the margarita. That wasn't supposed to. Shit. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> now clean that shit up. These bushings are a bitch to get in because they're really rigid. And uh, the lips, the lip on the end of each side of the bushings that hold it inside of the steering rack are like much wider than the hole that they go through. So we have to like compress these hard ass things in there and slip them in. We've got it lubed up just a little bit and Chris just went hard on it with a screwdriver. Now he's pushing it the rest of the way in. So we pull this uh, metal guy out of here. By pull, I mean push. So metal guy is out of there. We lube this up and squish it into this hole right here. And that's all a lot of fun. And then you rail that metal thing back in there. So I've got it lubed up a little bit with some uh, used oil. Jam Just it up in there. It. Ah, fuck. As, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Chris, you did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, so there's, there's that clunk I was talking about. There we go, in those. Alright, yeah, check out the other side. There you go. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy just blew some shit out. Oh, yeah, fuck mechanics. We just pulled the 240 under the IS300 so we could take a dope thumbnail. We're gonna Z power. We're gonna tow the yeah, that, That's like a three JZ right there. You got a one <laughs> JZ and a two JZ. <laughs> <laughs> we have, dude. We've been waiting for the 3JZ, we've been waiting for Half-Life 3, dude, it's all here. But yeah, I think it's time for us to lower the IS-300 and see if uh, that fi fixed the clunk. Yeah, I'm stoked. And then once that's done, all that's left, the O2 sensors, but we don't have to do that today. That's right, Riley, I still haven't done the O2 sensors. <laughs> All right, this is the moment of truth. We're gonna drive the S300, hopefully there's no clonks. And uh, that guy that I was talking about earlier with the uh, convertible is up at my house trying to buy some stuff right now. Chris, so. you wanna move the rear blocks? We're headed up there. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Is your heart pumping? A little bit. Are you scared? Nah. You did that one clonk? I know, one clonk in my whole heart dies. So far, so no clonk. Oh, oh. there's a clonk. <laughs> well, uh, that's another one. Yeah. You made it down the driveway. Kind of. Yeah. Well, that guy grabbed a bunch of the shit that he needed. Yeah, he got a nice come up. Yeah. Sick clunk. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, my car still clunks a lot. At first the plan was to do the steering rack on the 240 today, but it's kind of late now. And we're just gonna do it tomorrow. So that'll be a different video. And we're gonna go, I'm gonna go pick up the 240 right now. You out? Yeah. I'll send you those pictures. Okay. Uh... So pretty much we made DJ's clunk worse by switching out those steering rack bushings. Somehow that happened. 
not really sure. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on why it might be clunking like that, then uh, feel free to let us know what you think. It's really annoying ever since he put in the coilovers that's been doing that. So if you got any idea, uh, throw it down in the comments. We'd like to know. And thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.